Tonight, a West Geauga High School junior is being honored for preventing a potential mass shooting at the school. Our Lydia Spara sat down with the teen and his mother tonight. Scared of the bullet. I was scared that someone was going to use that bullet during the school day, and that's why I went up to the school resource officer. For Casey Orlowski, April 3rd is a day he will never forget. Neither will his mom, April. That's the day this 18-year-old Brandon Morissette brought a gun to school. I went to the bathroom and uh, went to the handicap stall, which is the most obvious stall, and uh, went, went in there, and I found, found a bullet standing up. He was standing out like on top of the toilet. Soon after, he sent this text to April. I went to the bathroom during first period, and I went to a stall, and I found a 9 millimeter on the toilet. I told the cop, VP, and the principal about it. Then April texted, you found a gun or bullet? He responds with one word, bullet. Casey knew he had to report it. I need to make an end of this right now. I have a chance. Like, like I had the key, I had the key to stop it. The bullet being the key. What shocked me was that he didn't touch the bullet, like he knew enough when he saw it not to touch it. And while the school investigated, Casey was sent back to class. At that day, I was working on a worksheet with him. Brandon had his backpack with a gun and a knife sitting right next to him and Casey. I definitely still have a problem with them sending him back into the classroom because I feel like they weren't taking the threat seriously. Brandon Morissette admitted to police he wanted to commit a mass shooting at West Geauga High School, but police and the school believed the plot was foiled because of Casey. On Monday, he was honored for the courage to come forward and speak up, which oftentimes police say kids don't. Casey is humbled by the accolades, yet feels bad for Morissette, who Casey says had been struggling emotionally since the loss of his mother. A loss Casey knows so well when he lost his own birth mother. April and his dad have been filling the void ever since. If you ever lose a parent, it is the most gut-wrenching feeling like ever. Still, Casey says Brandon's way of dealing with pain was only going to cause more pain for an entire community. It's just unfortunate that he chose the wrong way of handling the situation. Besides Casey's efforts, having a resource officer here in West Geauga proved to make the difference. So they're hoping to get a second one also to increase their police presence. Russ?